Okay, just going to do a short video on how to represent a force as a vector. We're going to draw this. Um, so we're going to take a 70 newton force and uh, we're going to have that force acting at in a direction of 30 degrees. So a 70 newton force acting at 30 degrees. So this is our magnitude. We have a magnitude of 70 newtons and a direction of 30 degrees. And if we have magnitude and direction, then we know it's a vector. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a horizontal line. It's not a horizontal line here. Um, horizontal line is going to be our starting point. Um, and on here, I'm going to put a mark where that force is going to start from. First thing we're going to do is then find the direction at 30 degrees. So if I take the crosshairs of the protractor and put them on here, I can then, once it's lined up very carefully, I can then mark out part 30 degrees. We're going to use this inside scale here. So if I measure around 10, 20, 30 degrees, and put a mark there. I can then take my rule, put my pen, pencil on that point there and slide the rule up to the pencil and round to the cross. There we have our 30 degree direction. I'm just going to label that there. It's 30 degrees up from the horizontal. Now, um, that is just a line. It's not 70 newtons yet. We need to accurately portray that as 70 newtons. And to do that, we need to change its length. Now, if we look here, what kind of scale would be right to use? And I can see uh, quite quickly that um, something like 10 newtons per centimetre would give me seven centimeters so that's quite a good scale to you so i'm going to communicate that by writing it up here and scale one centimeter equals 10 newtons so if i put the zero on that cross there and line the rule up with that 30 degree line there Let's measure this off. So we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 newtons. So 70 newtons is up there. I can draw my line there. We can see our seven centimetre line there now represents that 70 newton force. Now there's one last thing to do here. And that's to communicate which direction that force is acting. I'm going to do that by placing an arrow on the end of the line. So there is our 70 Newton force acting at an angle of 30 degrees. And that's it.